Introduction Hello Radha, where are you coming from? I went to the movie hall to watch a 3D movie. A 3D movie? What is that? 3D means three-dimensional. We wear special glasses to watch that movie. What is the difference between a two-dimensional figure and a three-dimensional figure? Come, I will tell you everything about the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional figures. Objectives At the end of this session, you will be able to Define two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. Show the different views of a three-dimensional object. Understand polyhedron. Understand the concept of Euler's formula. Look at these shapes. These are all two-dimensional shapes. They have only two measurements, length and breadth. You mean all the shapes that we draw in our notebook are two-dimensional? Yes, you are right. All those shapes that we can draw in our paper and which have only two measurements are two-dimensional shapes. A square, rectangle, triangle, circle, etc. are the examples of two-dimensional shapes. What are three-dimensional shapes? A solid object having three measurements like length, breadth and height are called three-dimensional objects. Look at this cuboid. It has length, breadth and height. So this is a three-dimensional object. The cylinder, cone, etc. are the three-dimensional figures. Rita, let's play a game now. You know about the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional shapes. I will show you some shapes. You will tell me their name and their type. Okay, I'm ready. These are all the shapes. This is square and this is two-dimensional. This is a cone and is three-dimensional. This is a cylinder. This is also three-dimensional. This is a triangle. And this is two-dimensional. Circle, two-dimensional. This is a cuboid and is three-dimensional. And this is, um, is it a sphere? Yes, this is a sphere and is three-dimensional. Wow, Rita, you are learning so fast. Tell me more about these shapes. Come. Rita, look at this tent. This is made up of two shapes. Can you tell the name of the shapes? Yes, I can see the shapes. One is cone and another is cylinder. Correct. Similarly, we have ice cream. We can see that the cone is a cone surmounted by a hemisphere. Rita, do you know that three-dimensional objects look different from different positions? How? Look at our house. It can have many views. This is the side view of the house. This is the front view and this is the top view. Similarly, this brick can have different views. Top view, side view and front view. Look at this cube. This is the face of a cube. This is the edge of the cube and this is the vertex of the cube. An edge is a line segment where the faces meet and the vertices are the points where the edges meet. Do you know what we call a solid having flat faces, edges and vertices? Um, no. Those solids are called polyhedrons. These all solids are polyhedrons. Are these objects polyhedrons? No, these are not polyhedrons. You are right, these are not polyhedrons. Because they do not have flat faces. 
If the same number of faces meet at each vertex, then the polygon is said to be a regular polyhedron. A cube is a regular polygon. Because here, three faces meet at each vertex. Rita, we have two important members of polyhedron family around us. They are prisms and pyramids. A prism is a polyhedron whose base and top are congruent polygons and whose other faces, that is, lateral faces, are parallelograms in shape. On the other hand, a pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon of any number of sides and whose lateral faces are triangles with a common vertex. If you join all the corners of a polygon to a point, not in its plane, you get a model for pyramid. If F stands for number of faces, V stands for number of vertices and E stands for number of edges, then the Euler's formula is F plus V is equal to E plus 2. That is, F plus V minus E is equal to 2. This formula is true for any polyhedron. If number of vertices and number of edges of a polyhedron is given, then we can find the number of faces of that polyhedron using Euler's formula. And if number of faces and number of vertices are given, then can we find the number of edges? The two values are given. Then we can find the third value using Euler's formula. Here is an example. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Recognizing 2D and 3D objects, recognizing different shapes in nested objects, 3D objects have different views from different positions. For any polyhedron, F plus V minus E is equal to 2, where F stands for number of faces, V stands for number of vertices, and E stands for number of edges. This relationship is called Euler's formula.